Try Maya Ryan. Typically speaking, when I well, do look, anything... Look, and the first Maya Ryan is some lady right. in her underwear. Great. That's um, great. It's not me. Right. What is a digital footprint? A digital footprint is the expression used to describe the trail or traces, footprints, that people leave as a result of their online activities and communications. It is the information that an internet user has left behind. Everything your teen does online creates a footprint that can stay there for years to come. It becomes her online reputation. This includes what she does online with computers, tablets, or even smartphones. Something sent on the spur of the moment, a funny picture, an angry post, can resurface years later. And if she isn't careful, this reputation can be harmed. Your teen may think she just sent something to a friend, but that friend can send it to a friend's friend who can send it to his or her friend's friend, and so on. That's how information, good and bad, spreads so fast and furiously over the internet. Your teen's deepest secrets can be shared with thousands of people she has never even met. It is becoming common for companies employers, and colleges to look at these digital footprints when deciding who to hire or who to let into their colleges. Your teen's ability to get a job or get into college may be affected by the digital footprint. It might be a good time to sit down with your teen and see what the digital footprint and online reputation look like. Here's some activities that can help. This exercise helps students protect their digital footprints. Okay, here's the game. So I'm gonna give you a card, you'll read it and place it in the do or do not category, okay? First card. Follow or like the business or college you would like to apply to. Do or Is do not? Is that like? So when you have a Facebook, you can follow them or on Twitter, you can follow them and it'll tell you about their events and things. Why would, oh, for events, huh. Out loud. Create a mini media portfolio or personal website. Post awards, recognition, or com community activity activities you've been involved in. I think that's a little creepy, like you're a show off and you probably shouldn't do that because your boss will think, oh, that person's show off, we're not gonna hire them. Um, provide a silly email address like too hot for you at abc.com. Why? Okay. Do not. No. Search for yourself online from time to time. I think that's a little creepy and you probably shouldn't do that. Ask yourself if the pictures you've posted online show the side of you that you want to, a potential college representative or employer to see. Yeah. Assume that if you delete something, it is gone for good. No. Respond in an ugly way to something that is untrue. What does that mean? Keep going until all the cards are used. Check the parent answer sheet to see if your team was able to get the do's and don'ts cards in the right stacks. There was right answers to that? Yes, there huh. are right answers to that. So, do assume whatever you post can be seen by millions. That's right. Follow or like the business or college you would like to apply to. That's right. Create a mini media profile. Oh, that's something you want to do. You want your but potential employers and colleges to see how awesome you are. I think you're weird. They're going to take the one that looks awesome online over the one who's got nothing. Search yourself online from time to time. You should do that because then you know what they're seeing when yes. they search you.
A good place to start is with your student's current digital footprint. Sit down together and run a search on her name and see what appears. Open your computer internet browser and choose a search engine, such as Google. Type her first and last name in the search box, and maybe the town you live in. Read the first page of results from the search engine. Not you, a marriage is received, so it doesn't look like there's anything there. So go back up and put um, put in Michaela. Why oh look, right, that first one was you. Lobbyist. That's oh me. look, there you are. Um, for school, I had to do like we went down to the legislature and we um, became lobbyists so that we could learn like about how the legislature works. Here's some possible questions to talk about with your teen. What does she like about her footprint and online reputation? Well, I think that's really positive. If somebody's looking at you for a college entrance, then it's it, it shows that you've taken some initiative, that you did a school project, that I think if you manage the updating, you know, if you do the update every month, then it shows that you have some follow through, um, that you're able to do long-term goal setting and follow through on that. So I think that's really positive. Let's see what else is there. Which one is that? My portfolio. All right. And but I haven't done anything. On how, where did that? Where did that come from? Uh, this was a school project that we never like that we were supposed to start, but we just haven't finished yet. You did that in English. Is there anything she's um, proud of? Is there anything she's embarrassed about? I kind of I started it in English class, but I never like did anything with it. And then Miss Phil. What might she want to change? What might she do more effectively to represent how she wants to be viewed by others? But it's there. We know it's there. So I don't I don't know that it's negative or positive at this point. It's just there. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's something you could use if you were looking for a place to put things that you wanted people to know about you as far as your experience. Or, okay. You have a lot of other stuff on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's Instagram. Mm -hmm. And what do we see on there? So can you see, can you click on posts? Do we see nope. anything? Nope. Can't do anything? Nope, it's private. So that means that if I'm an employer looking at that, I can't see anything? Nope. Um, oh, CT, 2014-15 signature and CT words, first through third place. Are you on that one? You must have popped up on that one. So that's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's that would be positive for an employer for sure, mm -hmm. right? Business and ethics preliminary. The, mm -hmm. There we are. There you are right there. And why don't you go to the top and click on images. And let's see what comes up for images. Don't forget to search for photos and images as they can link to are websites or accounts mm, no. you've forgotten about. Okay, keep scrolling down. Okay, so essentially what you've checked is your online footprint. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, are there things that you would want to add to make your footprint more positive for employers or colleges looking Well, at I you? think that portfolio that I did that I never finished, I think that finishing it might be a good idea. Good. You may want to try this for yourself and see what your digital footprint looks like. Is it what you would like it to be? More specific sites for finding people include zabasearch.com or pipple. Com. So maybe the lesson on be people being able to find you and your things most easily is that you identify as Michaela Lee Ryan because almost nobody else's stuff came up that would, mm -hmm. have, that would have been confused with yours. Sit down with your teenager and look at the Managing Your Online Reputation Worksheet together. Talk about each step and ask her what she thinks of the advice. So the first thing was search for yourself online. So we did that. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't know everything that's published about us online. Are you sure everything there is appropriate? So were you surprised by anything that you saw? No, not really. You were, so you were pretty familiar and aware that those things were all there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So then check your privacy settings on social media accounts. How often do you check them? I know you get updates on your phone and stuff. Yeah. How often do you check? I check a lot because I always make sure that I'm private. Is like, that important to you? Yeah. Why? Because I don't want people I don't know seeing who I am. Okay. What do you put in your personal profile? Um, like 
Reno, and then like ACT. Well, like my Instagram one was Reno, and then Skills USA State Office. That was it. So you're pretty brief about what you put yeah. in there. Okay. Do you ever put your address in or no. your age stuff like no. that? No. Okay. I just wondered. All right. Delete abandoned social media accounts. Do you have any? I don't think so. So protect your personal data. Don't disclose your personal address. Yeah. Phone I number, passwords. It sounds like you don't do that anyway. Keep login information under lock and key. How do you manage your passwords and logins? Since so you have two email addresses at least. You have, you have two Google accounts plus an AOL account, mm -hmm. Instagram, and then you just keep those in your head or what? Yeah. Hmm. Think before you post. Once something gets posted, it can be difficult to remove. If you don't want a potential employer or college seeing something, don't post it. Do you think about that when you're sending Instagrams or when yeah. you're posting things? Well, like, I go to AACT, so we get told all the time that that happens. So you're hearing that at school? Yeah. Nice. Okay, nix the pics. Any photo you post publicly is fair game for anyone to dig up or use. If you want to post photos, set your privacy settings accordingly. You're, you already are aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, so once long ago, when, when we first had this phone thing, right, and I don't, whatever came before Facebook, what was it that came before? MySpace. 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 There was this thing, right, where girls would take pictures of themselves in the mirror or they would take inappropriate pictures. Mm -hmm. I would say they're inappropriate. Young girls mm -hmm. and post them without really understanding Anybody can see that stuff, and it stays forever. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of crosses the line sometimes between bullying or harassment or sexual harassment. Sometimes crosses the line. How do you feel about stuff like that? I mean, I, do you have friends that do that? Do you know people that do that? Not really anymore. I think because that happened, now everybody's, like, really aware of it. And especially parents are aware of it and, like, adults in people's lives. Do you feel like you spend a lot of time on social media? Do you feel like you have no. a bunch of accounts? It didn't look like it when we did your search that you had I don't a bunch. think so. I think I spend more time on Netflix than I do on social media. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> um, okay, and we already kind of talked about this, to how to create a positive digital, fo digital footprint, how to take what's already there and create a positive a more positive um, perception of yourself. So how will you, you've got some really good places to start. How will you go about doing that, building up the positive perception of who you are? Um, I think just like finishing that portfolio and stuff and adding my accomplishments and things like that so that it's all like easily found in one place. Which ones do you feel like you do regularly? Um, well, I think I check my privacy settings a lot. Um, and obviously, I think before I post anything, and I know about the next the pick stuff. I don't know. I think a lot of these are just like common sense. Here are some common sense tips to talk about with your teen. Help him think long term. What he posts today could be there years from now. Teach him to keep personal information private. We recommend not to share addresses, phone numbers, or birth dates online. Make sure he uses privacy settings for his social network pages. Have him think carefully about the nature of his relationships, friends, family, classmates, strangers, and adjust his privacy settings accordingly. Remind her to protect her friend's privacy. Passing along a rumor or identifying someone in a picture called tagging affects other people's privacy. Remind him that the golden rule applies online. Treat others on the internet the way you would want to be treated. Whatever negative things she says or does online can come back to haunt her. Well, like all the movies about like the 911 operators who like end up finding murder scenes and stuff like that because of some girl who left her social media site open or like what was the movie Unfriended or something like that? Where it's just like a bunch of teenagers who are all like on Skype and then like they get like watch a murder or something like that. Like pop culture doesn't help parents not be fearful and stuff like that. Being somewhat educated isn't a bad idea. Knowing something about it isn't a hindrance, it's a help sometimes. If you and your teen enjoy these activities, tell their teacher. The teacher may have more ideas to share for learning fun at home. 
If your student is having a hard time with these activities, you can also talk to the teacher. There may be another tip sheet or other activities to help.